Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Today we take on PSV in the Champions League and Reading in the Premier League, both away from home, looking to continue perfect start in both competitions. And since you were last with me, we have lost the game. Now, not one I'm particularly worried about, and I did massively irritate, but have a quick look. We played two games since you were last with me. We drew two all away at Old Trafford. They played their full strength team. We definitely didn't. I played a side in at the back. Now, he can play there, but he's not a centre back. So. I wasn't too worried. I wanted to go out the competition. There's too many games. I don't really care about the Carabao Cup. We've won it enough times by now. So we're out that. We want to win the Champions League again. That's what we're aiming for. And then we beat Leeds 4-2. Really comfortable win. Two goals flattered them. I think they had two or three shots all game. Two of them went in. We scored four. Absolutely wiping the floor with them. This out leaves things looking. We are top of the league. City are three points behind us with a game in hand. So they win that, they go joint. But Raphael's got 13 goals in seven league games. fallen has got six and seven. Raphael and João Pedro just performing like superstars. And the assists are all over the team now. So that's why they're no one in there. Raphael, top player of the matches. And again, Sogard, I nearly forgot his name, does have the same amount of clean sheets as all these boys. So it's been going pretty well. I nearly clicked straight into the match then. Finances-wise, they're still going quite well. We've got £94 million in the bank, £68 million pound profit. We've got a few players for sale we might sell in January for more profit. I am trying to build up the budget now to buy the boy from Leon. I am going to go try break the bank and bring him in because he's just so good. Uh, he, will, he will be the long-term replacement for Brito, and that's the plan. Brito is 28 now. If we offload Brito in the summer for a region of £100 million, and we get rid of a couple of other players, we will bring that boy in. That'll be a direct replacement. So that's the plan. Hopefully it goes to plan. Uh, and let's get in here. We're playing PSV first. Going to go like this. So God, Batang, Blanc, Kift, Maravich, Agne, Jao, Pedro, Zanardini, Brito, Fall and Raphael. We give Kleber a little bit of rest. He played every game so far he's been in. So we give him a bit of rest and get Zanardini in. Not too much difference in them, player-wise. So, you know, that, that the front four... We've got so many players now that can play all over that from four. It's just, it's looking really good for us. Every time we were missing a player from that from four, we were panicking. But now we've got players behind them who can just swap out and come in and be just as good. So, they haven't got a manager. And they don't have a single player that I recognise. So, this should be fairly easy. Pick up where you last left off. Yeah, do that. That's what the plan is. And, um, yeah, get out there. Win a game. They've... I haven't got the Dutch League. I've not got the Dutch League loaded. I thought I had the Dutch League loaded. Or was it, I may have taken it off because they weren't producing any players, so that might be the problem. But I thought I didn't have the Dutch League loaded. I definitely do in the YouTube save. No, sorry, Twitch save. YouTube save. But Tang, Zanardini, Zanardini to Agna. Agna tries to play it as a box, but it's cleared away. Lorne brings it forward, gives it to Zaroli. Zaroli, he shot. Oh, it's nearly gone wide. I can't say that name. Zaroli. So Roly, we're done. We'll see it, whatever it is. Anyway. Now they've lost. They, PSV have lost both games so far, or the only game so far. I think we should win. I think we. I think we should beat them. But we will see. PSG, sorry, Real Sociedad and Nice are drawing. My head's all over the place today. Uh, we remember we are streaming tonight. So you want to see how far my head's gone tonight? Twitch.tv for Twitch Echoes 7 p.m. Come and join us. We'll have a laugh, uh, and we'll get it towards half time, and not much is happening. Which isn't like us, we're usually two or three up by now. Maravich heads one clear. Brito's going to get there. And here we go, on the break. Brito to Raphael. Raphael into the box. Is that a shot? It's blocked. Zanardini's into the box. Shoots. It's gone over. And highlights-wise, it, it's kind of one each, isn't it? 14 shots and five on target, though. They're three and two. It, it shows that we should be winning. However, we will have a go at them a half time. Agnes not playing too well, which is okay because we can bring people on. Um. I'm not happy with that. Just not happy. I'm not going to say dig in deep because we should be beating PSV comfortably. They lost 4 1 to Nice. Nice are losing to Real Sociedad, though. Fallen to Batang. Batang into Agna. Agna. João Pedro. João Pedro to Brito. Oh, that's poor from Brito as well. I'm going to take Agna off. He's just not having an impact. So Agna, he's already been booked as well. Get silver on for Agna. And anyone else playing poorly? The strikers aren't doing too well. I don't know. Fallen hasn't scored as many as uh, Raphael this year, which is a bit odd. I mean, a draw's not the end of the world, but again, we should be absolutely hammering them. 19 shots so far. 
Um, do I go very attacking? Let's go very attack and see if it helps. Batang head to clear. Octay attack. It's a good name, that. Ilias. Valentin. Octay attack again. Hoops it forward. Blanc heads it back. Zanardini brings it forward. Still going. Pass one man. Puts it out to Batang. Batang into Silva. Silva to Jao Pedro. Jao Pedro from range and it's in. Now, it wasn't as good as it first looked. I think the goalkeeper palmed that in. I think goalkeeper probably should have done better. I've got an itchy nose again, which means I'm going to fight somebody later on. But Dan Ardini does what he does best. Gets down the wing. Drops it back to Batang. Silva's there. Into Jao Pedro. It's a good hit. But the keeper kind of just punches it in, doesn't he? Yeah, you'd be questioning your goalkeeper if he did that. But now, look, they're all playing well. Apart from the strikers, strikers need to pick it up a bit. And on that note, we will bring on... We'll put Zan Ardini up front for Fallen. And we'll get Kleber on. Or Kleber, as he should be called. And maybe... Xiao Pedro for... I'm going to give... Yeah, let's give Essendon a couple of minutes in the Champions League. Four-star player. Absolutely superb. I can't believe he's come back that good. He's had a few seasons away. Last season was at Chelsea. Mierstadt gets it forward. Maravich gets there first though. De Witt. Van Duan. <laughs> De Witt. Very Dutch names these. Brito to Raphael. Into Zanardini. Who's in. Clean through. Can he finish? Of course he can. And it's 2-0. Zanardini's finishing is pretty good. And that uh, it's game over, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's been fairly comfortable. We've been the better team. We should be winning by more. But there we go. Brito to Raphael. It's a great little assist from Raphael there. Zanardini's nowhere near offside. Brings it forward and puts it into that bottom corner. Goalkeeper, no hope. I'm pleased. I'm happy with off with that. Brito's tired, but he's going to have to be tired. That's life. Just be tired, Brito. But at the end of the game, we've had 27 shots, scored twice, you know, 2.32 XG, an average rating of 7.34, possession 56%, crosses completed 25 all his stats here. Most most of the headers won. Most of the tackles won. 91% pass completion. You know, it's been good. I mean, look at this. All the way up. Um, I'm happy with that. You are you play. 2-0 is, you know, we should have won by more. But it's over. We've won. We're top of the group, I think. There we are. Top of the group. Real Sociedad did beat Nice. What score was that? Was it in Nice? No, it was at Real Sociedad. It's okay. Okay. Nice are home next. Which, if we do win that, and then we win the next... Yeah, if we get 12 points, we top the group. So, I probably would, if we win the next two Champions League games, I'll probably then go well on to, into January. So, that's the plan. Uh, Liverpool beat Leon. Dortmund battered Basel. They must be the whipping boys now. They've conceded 10 goals in two games, which is madness. But, yeah. Anyway, what I'll do, it's rejected. I want to build a new stadium. We'll have a go, will we? Um, we can no longer be restricted. Modern thinking club. I always say restricted. Phil's competes at the very best. We're going to have to have a stadium which is up there with anything in the country. No, it's not. Can't be achieved the current home. Uh, we really do need a stable environment where the club can grow and realise true potential. Um, I thought we shared a similar ambition. Reject the notion every decision we take is with best clubs. Uh, left behind by our rivals. All right, all right. I'm not. I'm disappointed, but I did bully them into the, the training ground and the the youth facilities. So uh, anyway, gonna click on here for the Redden game after that disappointment, and I'll see you in a second. Welcome back for the Redden game. Then I've made a couple of changes. I am trying to keep them fresher, so we're gonna go like this. So God, Batang, Blanc, Maximo comes in for Kift, and this is purely because Kift is thirty now. I don't want him playing millions of games all season, so. Maximo's coming here. Maravich, Silva. I've got Newcomb come in for... Where's he gone? Jao Pedro. Just again. Gives Jao Pedro a bit of rest. He plays a lot of football. Kleber comes in for Zanardini. That's not a downgrade. That's actually an upgrade. Brito, Fallen, and Raphael. And again, the way things are going... Actually, you want to look at Essendon here. Now, his stats have gone down, but he is a four-star player. I don't quite understand that. I don't quite get it. But he can play up front. As a four-star player. And he can play at the back as a four-star player. What a weird footballer. If anyone can explain, his stats don't look that ability to me. But apparently he is. So they were telling me to put him in there. But I haven't anyway. Let's get in here. Let's beat Redden quite comfortably. Remember Zubko's at Redden. 
I didn't really give him much of a chance here, and I think I'm quite... I made a profit on him, but I think I'm quite justified in it because he just hasn't pulled up any trees at red, and he was good the first season there, but he wouldn't have fitted in here. Nathan Ake is the red in manager, which is a bit bizarre. We know Zubko, we don't know anyone else there, I don't think. No, no, no one of our former players. The amount of teams that got former Darlington players in is getting a bit mad. I have a fantastic record to do against Reading. Well, I should have because the Reading and they are nineteenth at the moment, two points from the first eight. Silver ball into the box, not on by Brito. Clever is nearly there. What a nice same score again. Uh, Spurs are seven games. They got three points. That is a shocker from Spurs. Silver ball into the box. It's hit the post and it's gone in. It's off the back of the goalkeeper. It, it is. I thought they're going to disallow it the way the referee walked off, but Westwood with an own goal after ten minutes. It's a bit harsh, this one, to be honest. Blanc heads it onto the post. I would like to Blanc score. He doesn't score many goals, Blanc, but there he is, away celebrating. It's one nil on the eleventh minute. <laughs> We've had seven shots and none on target, and we're winning one nil. <laughs> Raphael Silva, Maravic, Newcomb. Maximo, Silver again, into Fallen. Can he finish? He can't. Fallen's off form. He really is. He hasn't scored in a few games. I don't know what's up with him. Brito, corner, it's headed clear. Raphael nods it down. Blanc, it's over the bar. Blanc seems to be shooting from all over the place today. Nine shots, only the one on target. Silver, ball into the box. And um, we're getting a penalty. I, you know what? I might give this to Fallen. I'm going to change play and give the penalty to Fallen because... I do want to watch him miss it, but I do want him to score. A bit of confidence. It might be a confidence thing. He's missed a few chances and penalties awarded. Let's change player here. Change player. Uh, where are we? Fallen, fallen. Where are you hiding? Changes have fallen. There we go. Confirm. Fallen's going to step. I've never done that before, by the way. He's going to step up. Please score this because I changed the player. Steps up and puts it away. Good lad, fallen. We will get you back in form. And that's a good way to do it. He's got 10 goals this season. It's not like he's not scoring goals. It's just the last few games he hasn't seemed himself. Now he's scored. Hopefully that brings him on a little bit. Again, okay, we've got two of the best strikers in the world up front. We've got the best winger. And you know, in Clever, we got one of the best of the wingers. So, you know, there's not too much to complain about here. Silver towards Brito, and he puts it away. And it's 3-0 after 27 minutes. And this could get a bit embarrassing for Redden, if I'm honest. It could be an absolute battering. But Tang puts it out to Silva. One touch, lays it into Brito. And Brito just neatly puts it into the back of the net. Good stuff, good stuff. They haven't had a shot yet. I don't think they've got up the half. Oh, there we go. They've had a shot on target. But we are, what, 36 minutes in? Nearly 40. And it's just our shots are racking up. It's like pinball, just ding, 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 with the shots up there. Okay, it's half time, 3 0 up. And I'm happy for having a good game now. See, bit of confidence, he's having a good game. Uh, where are we? I'm happy, you know what? Happy with that, I'm very happy with that. Yeah, keep going. Keep a clean sheet, would be nice. The Maximo's playing well, you know what? He's considered an elite centre back. And this is a boy that just sits on our bench 24 7, so we got just in. Depth all the way around. Apart from left back, we do need another left back. That is another concern. So if I can get your man, I'll tell you what, that is some hit from Reese Thomas Saunders. I was prattling on there thinking we were going to break and I had time to talk, but he has just absolutely lashed that into the top of the net. Look at this for a goal. Ball comes back to him here and bang, right into the top corner. And you're not saving that. So. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, if I can get your boy from Leon and a left back in the summer, I think that's, that's a job's a good one. We've done all right. Anyway, 65 minutes in, not much has happened. I'm going to take Brito off. He, he could do with a little bit of a rest. We'll get Golobovic on, who has, he seems to have since signing his, I don't know why, there's just stars disappeared from him. So we'll get him on. Hopefully it's just a, a form thing, but... He's played well in the games he's played. He scored a few goals. Zubko, Thomas Saunders, Tijanikowskis, Zubko, Cameron. Cameron brings it forward to Cortarud. Cameron, Zubko from range, straight to Sogard. And again, that's the problem we have with Zubko. He gets in good positions. He just wasn't finishing things. Golobovic is on. 
players are playing, they're doing alright, we're 3-1 up, it's fairly easy, we'll go attacking, I want to see if we can get Golovovic a goal. Newcomb's playing well, oh, we Maravich is having a poor game, Kleber isn't playing too well, we will get Kleber off just for his complacency, I don't like complacency. Zanardini and Silva are going to get off, we're going to bring Essendon on, give him a run out there. Only a few minutes to go. Nothing's happened really in the second half other than their goal. Golovovic, balls the box, falling just wide. It'd be nice to get him a goal there. What's that? Five goals, one conceded in the episode. We're fairly comfortable, to be honest. 28 shots, 9 on target, 3.14 XG. They're 7 of 5. 57% possession, average rating of 7.11. You know what? That's fairly good. Tackle, 100% of the tackles one. I mean, look at that. The XG is just off the charts. We we dropped off a little bit, but you know what? A win, a win's a win, isn't it? What's to complain about? We've gone to Redden, won quite comfortably, and uh, yeah, fairly satisfied with that. So this is send assistance. Brits, I see Barcelona really want Brits. So if they want him and they give me 150 million, and I can invest in that other boy, I'll take it because he is 28. He's a legendary winger, but he's starting to drop off in a little bit of places, positioning, concentration. Crossing, although free kick taking has gone up, his technique's gone up, and none of his physicals are going down. It's a difficult decision, isn't it? Because he's still the best right winger at the club, he's still the best midfielder at the club, he's still the best left winger at the club, attacker midfielder. You know, he's the best everywhere. That's a difficult decision, isn't it? Maybe the way to get he gets to 30. If, in fact, if Saz is around, tell me what to do with him, what would you do? With this, he's only con he's got. He's not very good at crossing. That's the only con he's got. The rest, he is just... The fans love him. It'll be a big hit to morale. He's one of the guys in the... He doesn't even earn that much money compared to some of the others. Anyway, anyway, this is how things are looking. We've won 10 in a row. Look at 10 in a row in the league. We are top of the league. 24 points out of 24. Goal difference of plus 27. Uh, City got two games in hand. Uh, where's our where? Why are these? What's going on here? Where's my goal scorers gone? Why is assists there again? Is that a bug? I don't think I've ever messed with that. There, oh, the back. That was a must have been weird little bug. Raphael's got thirteen. Fallen's got seven. Raphael's got four man of the matches. Raphael and João Pedro doing really well. And Champions League wise, we are top of our group. Six points from six. Five goal difference. Uh, Real Sociedad and Nice. Just behind us, well, three points behind us. And if we go to the schedule, when we'll come back, we'll come back for the Nice game. So we'll play Burnley offline, we'll come back for Nice and Spurs. And then we'll come back for City and Nice. I reckon if we beat Nice here, we top the group and it's done. So we don't have to play this one or the PSV game here. So I can go right the way through to mid-January, see how things are getting on, if that happens. But anyway, we'll be back. Tomorrow, we'll actually be back tonight, remember, twitch.tv forward slash echoes, 7pm. We're with Everton, we're doing really well, I think we're second in the league at the moment. We're in the Champions League again, we've won our first game in the Champions League. Things are looking pretty good, we've got a good team, but we haven't got a squad at all. We have got, outside of substitutes, we've got two other players, so we will work on that next season. But we're looking to build Everton, like we built Darlington. Everton have got the added bonus of having a ground that holds 52,500. The Bramley Moor Dock is a good stadium. It brings in loads of money. Uh, so that's that's the difference between this save and that save. we got a stadium that will bring in money. Here we don't. We really don't have that. But we're back tonight. Twitch.tv forward slash echoes with that save. Uh, and back tomorrow with a 4.30 for Buster Boom. So if you are enjoying this and you want to support the channel, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that rubbish. And I'll see you all again tonight or tomorrow.